In this short video, we will go through the procedure for installing or upgrading the SOLIDWORKS Solid Network License Manager and activating the various SOLIDWORKS network licenses you may have. If you are using a virtual machine to host the Network License Manager, you will need to transfer, which has been renamed to deactivate, your license or licenses as your first step. To deactivate, we'll fire up the SOLIDWORKS Solid Network License Manager and from the Server Administration tab, choose Modify. We'll choose to move our license, select all the appropriate licenses and choose Next, and that's it. We'll begin by uninstalling the older version of the Solid Network License Manager. We'll go to Programs and Features through our Control Panel and choose SOLIDWORKS Solid Network License Manager and choose Uninstall. We'll do a quick double check that it was uninstalled by going back into Programs and Features. Installing the new SNL requires the installation media, whether that be from the install disk or from a download from the SOLIDWORKS customer portal page. In this example, we're using a download. The default download location is under C, Users, Documents, SOLIDWORKS Downloads, and we're going to dig into the version that we want. From there, we're going to look for a folder called SWLIC MGR, SOLIDWORKS License Manager, and fire off the Windows installer file, SOLIDWORKS Solid Network License Manager. From here, we're just going to walk through the wizard, insert the serial numbers that we desire, and do the install. The last step in the process is activating these licenses. Depending on what operating system you're on, uh, getting to that SNL tool, uh, you can do that in different ways. I'm showing you just a search here in Windows 10 where we can find the license manager server or the client. If you're on more of a Windows 7 type of environment, we can still do the uh, applications, SOLIDWORKS tools, and run the Solid Network License Manager server. Make sure you're running the server. It should automatically ask you to activate any licenses that you have. It'll bring up your server information. Uh, important note here that the email address is required. From here, we have the different tabs on server administration, license usage, server list, license borrowing, and license order. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Desai Solutions Technical Support.